It was probably a couple of weeks ago now I was watching a YouTube video and the guy was trying to draw out some or cut some gears and I can't remember was he doing it in wood or metal. I think it was on metal. And he mentioned that he was using Matthias's program to generate the pattern. And he said this, Matthias's program did not print out right. And I thought, oh, that's strange. Could this be the Matthias that I used to watch years ago on the Wooden Gear Show? And I googled it. Sure enough, same guy. He's developed a gear generating program, so I bought it. And it got me to thinking, it probably wasn't Matthias's program. It was probably the printer. Now that got me to thinking even further. How accurate is my printer? It's just a cheap printer that was about $100 from Staples. And it's a laser printer. Anyway, we're going to find out today. How accurate is my printer? Now whenever I want to draw out something super accurate, I use CorelDRAW. I find that I can draw something on the computer to within a thousandth of an inch. And uh, yeah, I know that uh, there is Fusion 360 out there and I did find out recently it was free, or it is free. Uh, one of the viewers told me about it and he said it was free and I didn't believe him. I checked it out and for somebody like me, yes, it's free. However, I don't know how useful that's going to be to me. I don't have a 3D printer and I don't have a CNC router. Uh, so CorelDRAW it's going to be probably for a while. Anyway, what I've done here is I've drawn out a 6 inch square in CorelDRAW. I've drawn that out exactly 6 inches square. However, is it actually going to print out to exactly 6 inches square? Let's print it out and measure it. Okay, my plan is to be as accurate as possible here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> On the width it's only five one thousandths of an inch out. It measures to be one five one thousandths of an inch. Don't know if you can see that or not upside down. Maybe I'll turn it right side up. Let's try the height. Well, the height Okay, the height, as I expected, was not too accurate. Actually, I, I was expecting the width to be a lot worse than it was. Now the uh, the height looks like it's about 33 thousandths of an inch 
bigger than it's supposed to be. Don't know if you can see that or not, but take my word for it if you can't. Yeah. Now, the reason I think that the height is out and was expecting it to be out is because the paper is fed by a roller and if the roller is not machined to exactly the right size it's going to either make the paper come out a little bit too much you know pass it through the uh, system too fast or too slow so I was expecting it to be out this way but I, I'm, I'm very surprised that the width was only five one thousandths of an inch now what I want to do is see if I can not figure out how to program that into my corral draw drawing so that I adjust the drawing so that it prints out square. Yeah, let's see what we can do. Go back to the computer. I'm back upstairs at the computer now and I was just thinking about that five one thousandths of an inch that was out on the width. That means that on a, you know, that was on six inches. So that that would mean that every inch was only out about a thousandth of an inch. You know, I don't think I'm going to mess with that. What would that be, about a tenth of one percent? You know, that's, that's not too bad. I don't think that's going to affect a woodworker. However, that 33 thousandths of an inch, if I was to squash the whole thing down by 33 thousandths, uh, what percentage would that be? I'm just going to have to figure that out. Here we are back in Corel Draw, and you can see up here on the left hand side I'm still adjusted to 6 inches by 6 inches. In other words, 6,000 one thousandths of an inch by 6,000 one thousandths of an inch the other way. At least that's the way I look at it. So let's take our 6,000 here on the calculator on the right. So that's 6, 0, 0, 0. Okay, and we're going to divide that by 6033 cuz that's that's what it was out and it comes to 9.9945 you know that's to the nearest that's a 10 thousandths of an inch uh, difference there and we're not going to go that high anyway so my thinking is that if i was to take over here on the where the height says 6 inches and change that to whatever I get here on the calculator. So just for the fun of it, let's go times 6 equals. If I change my height to 5.967 inches and adjust it that way, um, it, you know, it should print out more or less right, even though it's wrong in the drawing. So here we go. We're going to take this and we're going to highlight the 6 inches on the height and we're going to key in 5.967 okay so I've keyed it in but I haven't uh, entered it yet so it hasn't adjusted anything I'm just going to zoom in on the corner here and see if we can see the corner change ready here we go enter yeah it did it changed so it, it lowered it lowered the corner but it didn't bring it into the right which means that it only adjusted the height not the width now let's print that out and see what we got okay we're going to do it a little bit different this time i'm going to try and do it so that you get to see it as well otherwise i'm going to try and keep my hands out of the way here If you remember, this is the length. We reduced it like this. We squashed it down. Okay, so when I said we're going to do it differently, I meant that what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the caliper to exactly six inches and then see where that comes. I think that should be just about as uh, almost as accurate because I got a feeling it's going to be right on here. So it's kind of hard to do and hold it for the camera at the same time. I just want to emphasize here, this is not a reenactment. At this point, I really don't know if it's going to be right on or not. I'm just assuming here. Getting pretty close there. That's it. Now I'll lock it in place there. Hope it stays there. 
Okay, it's exactly six inches. Now let's see where it comes on this. Okay, I'll get myself around here. Okay, put this one on this line. Well, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it looks to me like the other one is on the other line. So my system worked. There's one more thing I want to check out. How well does my printer draw a perfectly straight line? Well, depending on what kind of resolution your computer screen is that you're watching this on, I've printed out some lines here that you should be able to see. And uh, what I've done is I've got a horizontal line, a vertical line, and a couple of diagonal lines. They were straight in CorelDRAW, but it doesn't necessarily mean they have to be straight when they're printed out. This is a precision straight edge. I bought this several years ago when I was setting up my jointer. And, uh, oh my, let's zoom in on that. The horizontal line seems to be dead on. That's hard to adjust this thing here. Okay. Get my thumb out of the way. Well, that's straight enough for a woodworker. Let's try the uh, vertical line here. I guess the best way would be to turn it like this. Okay, I've tried to adjust it so the entire line fills the screen from side to side. That way we'll get the best resolution here. Okay, offhand I'd say that's pretty good. Like that's excellent. All right, let's try diagonal. And then we'll quit. Well, I am very surprised. I'm surprised that a laser printer is that accurate. You may as well say it's dead on. Like I say, dead on for a woodworker. Well, thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Be back to the big clock project.